Hey, what's to YouTube fam? It's your girl TK and I am home of vlogging and I decided that I really wanted to get online and talk to you guys about a story that I just recently heard about, um, about a young black boy who was recently shot and, um, he's really in critical care and honestly, he's definitely in my prayers and I'm sure he will be yours too. So I'm going to give you a synopsis of what happened to him and we'll go from there. Now, I want you guys to know that his name is Ralph and, um, he was out looking for his siblings. I believe he had two sisters and um he was just trying to collect them he was calling them in for the night and he basically knocked on the wrong door and the door that he knocked on uh, well that door was a angry white male who basically shot him but he didn't stop there with the terror he continued as a Ralph was trying to run away escape from the brutal attack that man shot him again you know and just to hear that this kid, who's loved uh, his education, who loves music, um, just a talented, bright child, was just shot down like an animal. It's just so heartbreaking. It really is. So I am looking at this story online and um, I really wanted to share this article with you because you may have not seen it. And y'all know me, Sharon is caring. So I want to know a little bit more about what happened with Ralph. So I'm looking at CNN News. And on CNN News, I'm sorry I had to move my phone, but I had to kind of log into my computer just now. But anyhow, on CNN News, the headlines for this article says that white homeowner accused of shooting black teen who went to the wrong house in Kansas City will face two felony charges, officials announced. So um, just to hear that this man will be um, charged with a crime for attacking this child is... Um, a worse can't describe how I am feeling. I'm, uh, you know, it won't stop his pain. It will not stop Ralph's pain, but at least he's going to be held accountable because I don't want to ever see a child being hurt or harmed. You know, one of the things that I will always be proud of is that my start was in child welfare, social work, and I've always been an advocate and will continue to be an advocate for children. Anyhow, um, let's go forward with this story. Now, it says here a white 84 year old homeowner who allegedly shot and wounded Ralph, a black teen, after the 16 year old went to the wrong home to pick up his siblings, will face two felony charges. Clay County prosecuting attorney Zachary Thomas announced early Monday evening. You know, what's interesting is that um, the man who shot this 16 year old was a 84 year old man. You know, that is just so interesting. Y'all gonna have to let me know how y'all are feeling in the comment section below. Anyhow, let's go forward with this story. It says here that Andrew Lester will face charges of assault in the first degree in armed criminal action. Authorities have issued a warrant for his arrest and he's not currently in custody, Thompson said. And it's going to be a quote that I'm going to read now. It says, I can tell you there was a racial component to this case. Thompson said at a news conference without elaborating. When asked whether Lester may also face hate crime charges, the prosecutor said that in Missouri, a hate crime is a lower level of felony and that adding such charges could constitute double jeopardy. Mm. A probable cause document released Monday evening similarly doesn't shine any light on why authorities believe race played a role in this case. There's no indication that Lester or Ralph spoke to one another before the Tuesday evening shooting. Thompson said the prosecutor added there is no evidence that the team entered the home and preliminary evidence shows Lester opened fire on the team through a glass door with a 32 caliber revolver. Oh my gosh. So homeboy was not trying to get in his home. He saw him through a glass door and he shot him. You know, he was taking this boy's life away, this young child's life away. Now, that's a thriller. You know, this is the reality that we're living in in society today. 
anyhow guys you're gonna have to let me know what you are thinking about this story I would love, love, love to hear what you are thinking. Um, tell me what you think about him looking through a glass window and deciding that he wants to shoot at a young teenager. Not only shoot, destroy this young teenager, harm him, cause bodily harm. He didn't even know what this boy wanted, but he was already ready to cause harm and if you don't think a racial component is a factor well boy i don't know what to say this is just this whole story sounds like a horror story in its entirety you know in age 84 years old you know it's it's just interesting <laughs> I don't know, guys. Y'all gonna have to let me know how y'all are feeling. Anyhow, with that being noted, guys, I just wanted to share this story because, I don't know, it was just so touching to hear it. And I'm sure if you was to hear the story as well, it will, you know, touch you as well. Um, if you have a chance, I am going to ask that you say a prayer for Raph. Say a prayer for um, the family that was affected, which is Raph family. Ralph's family, excuse me, as well as the man who shot him, you know, and hopefully we can not only say a prayer for him, but make sure that they possibly not only possibly, but we want to make sure that this man is held accountable and responsible. That's the word that I'm looking for. Responsibility, you know. Anyhow, with that being noted, guys, please know that I do have a community tab. Please use it. You are more than welcome to, as well as my Instagram. My Instagram handle is T-K-K-N-O-W-L-E-S-0-1. Peace, love, and happiness, guys. I hope you guys are always out here being safe, staying blessed, and paying attention to laws, rules, regulations, policies, and procedures, because you don't know when, where, and how it might impact your life. Bye, guys.